Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Rain Day Gaming. My name's Rain Day, and guess what we're doing today? Talking a little bit about the Paladins Premier League. For those of you who are interested, we have a new league coming into the realm. It's a really exciting one for me, and uh, personally, it's it's going to be one that you're going to want to pay attention to because as a result of that, you'll be able to win free VIP points and purchase a lot of things that you want whether you want the game or not. I'm trying to make sure that I can get into the borderless window here uh, because I'm going to show you guys every week my own picks for what is going to happen, my predictions uh, for how the sets are going to go. And so if you don't pay attention, make sure you just watch my video each week. It should happen on about a Friday, I think. Maybe a Friday night PPL is what I'm thinking about. I might throw some highlights in from last week. You guys can see some of my actual commentary um, as a esports caster, my profession, what I'm doing outside of YouTube. And uh, so appreciate a little bit of the games, get to know the players, and also know which things to pick in order to get some extra points. As you can see here, 100 points possible from picks. Uh, now, I hope that means 100 points per win. Uh, hopefully, if it doesn't, I, I apologize. But we'll get, we'll get the numbers right. Either way, it's free points. So let's just get to the bottom of it. Fnatic versus in uh, Nottis Vincier. Uh, now, these are all teams from the organization WESA. They're going to be uh, going up. So make sure you catch these games on Facebook.com slash Paladins game slash live. Um, or you can go to Esports.com slash Paladins uh and you could find it there so heading into game number one it's fanatic versus Nottis fins here now fanatic has guys you may know of such as scythe 8 fishko Thiel, gara and bugsy these guys are basically the old d69 if you're familiar with palin's esports they've got a great roster side bait fishko have really gelled in with this lineup of the veteranship of bugsy and Thiel and gara i gotta say that they're looking really strong especially against a team that's already and always been looking strong and that third place suddenly started to take into the like i'm a premier team here which is what not as have done mutu phoenix spunky creatives and unbelievable those are the players in this set it's going to be a close one, but in my opinion, I think Fnatic are going to pull this one out. Navi have been looking really good lately, but my first pick because of the veteran leadership, because of uh, I think Cybate and Fishko are just such good pieces that have, have given some flexibility to the way Bugsy and Gara and Theo can play. Um, I just think they're going to come out swinging this week, and they're going to take the set. So that's my pick there. Over here, you guys can already see my set uh, my set pick. Ninjas in Pajamas versus Mouse Sports. Now, Ninjas in Pajamas... That's the team with the guys you used to call Gangstars, used to call Burrito, Purdo, Sheepa, Lazy Bird, and Bonker rounding that out. As you notice, Purdo and Sheepa no longer on D69, which is now Fnatic. Uh, they moved over and joined Bird and Lazy and Bonker to form this kind of super team here with Ninjas in Pajamas. And they've looked good. They've looked really strong. I'm actually going to say that they get my vote this week no matter what. Um, I think that they're just going to come out swinging especially because when you look at Mouse Sports, although they've got a lot of great pieces, Koa, Andrew Doodle, Slashwine, NTB, Sleepy, um, the veteran leadership isn't as there. NTB is probably the one in terms of veteran play at a high level that we've been able to cast uh, more so than anyone, uh, but they've got a lot of talent. Uh, as the name suggests, Sleepy should not be slept on. This guy could surprise everybody. Make sure to watch the matchup, but I think it's a pretty safe bet to go for Ninjas in Pajamas um, on this one. I, I hope to be surprised. Then you're going to see Navi uh, facing off against Virtus Pro. Navi, that's the team with Spunky and Mutu and all those guys. Virtus Pro, uh, on their roster, they actually have It's Bittner, Cephic Cloud, Elven Path, Cog Cog, and Simsolo. Now, Simsolo, Elven Path, these are guys that you know. Cog Cog, one of my favorite healers coming out of uh, the scene and, and landing in this Virtus Pro team. Uh, and Cephic Cloud and It's Bittner, uh, very talented dudes uh, that have made a big impact lately in the professional scene. So this is going to be a toss up. I think Elven Path and Simsalu together could create some great veteran leadership combined with Cog Cog skill and growing mentality as a healer um, to, to make a very dangerous squad. They, they might do something weird, but I think it's a safer bet to go on Navi here. They're just a little bit more established. I haven't seen Virtus Pro play too much. I'm going to go with Navi on this one. Uh, of course, Fnatic versus Mouse Sports. Uh, this is the NTB squad. This is the old D69 with Bugsy Guerra. I'm going to have to go for Fnatic this week. I think this should be a pretty easy sweep for them. Um, I think Mouse Sports have a great, great group, but they're going to have a little bit of time catching up. Of course, I'd love to be surprised. Uh, and now heading over into the other side of things in North America, you'll see Splice versus Team Envious. Now, who's Splice? Who's Team Envious? Splice, their killer umbrellas, Envy, Amos, El Zulu, and Rovenik. These guys have... Uh, really changed the way this this scene in North America has looked. You know, both of these teams had huge upsets heading on into last week, uh, taking down G2 Esports, which is the guys who won DreamHack Valencia, like Cutie and all those guys. Um, 
The question is, can they do it twice? I don't know if they can do it against G2, but against Team Envious, that's really the question here. Rovnik and El Zulu have proven that they know what to do to get wins. Uh, if we take a look at Team Envious, it's Mr. Hayes, it's Badmint, it's Invocal, it's Random Noob TV, which you guys might know, and Tolkien. So many people that could go off on this team. Random Noob could go off. And Vocal could go off. Uh, Mr. Hayes, super, super uh, talented in that support role. Uh, and, and Tolkien and uh, Badmint, just solid, solid players. Because of their leadership, because of, I think, the performance last week, I'm going to give it to Splice. But I think this one could go either way. You could basically 50-50 close your eyes and uh, have an opportunity here. Uh, this one, I think, is going to be really clear. Now, G2 Esports, they lost out. This is Wardoom. I drop bodies. Cus Cutie, Evil Eye, and Dosips. These guys lost out on um, last week in the PGS, and it was unfortunate because you saw them kind of crumble to a team that just felt like they had the upper edge on them. This is It was very weird. It was very rare to see this type of play. Um, but I think that overall this is going to spark a lot in them. I think these guys are going to go to scrims. You know, Cus Cutie, you follow his Twitter, you see his streams. The guy's committed. He's working really hard, not only physically to get in better shape. You can see him. He's posting how much pounds he's losing every single day on Twitter. I'm like, oh, you go, man. You go, Cus. Um, but I'm also seeing the fact that he's just determined uh, from streams to scrims, back to streams, back to games, back to working out. It, it, to me, this is a mentality of a guy who says, we just got knocked down. We're going to get up and fight as hard as possible. Um, so, no doubt in my mind do I think G2 Esports are going to be like they were last time. But SK Gaming, that's the old denial. It's Prince Danny TV. It's Stolzy. It's Wi-Fi. It's Vex30. It's Bitey. This is a marquee matchup you're going to want to watch for sure. Um, I've talked a lot about Bitey and, and the way he puts with the kind of captain role. Puts Stolzy and Danny on these kind of weird pseudo, pseudo damage, pseudo frontline roles that yes, can be dominant in terms of a, a damaging perspective like Soul and Danny love to do. Grovers, Barracks, Tink with Tinker and Legendaries, Ferocity Legendaries, they can wreck. But they don't have that same type of game-changing abilities like a Maeve or an Androxus. Um, really those flanks that they're known for. It hasn't been a flank meta, but I think it's coming back into uh, Paladin's Esports. I'd be surprised if Danny and Solzy didn't have a great showing today. Um, Wi-Fi and Vex always been solid players, and, and Bidey, you, you, he could play anything. Um, I think the real key for me is I've yet to see the synergy from SK Gaming utilizing all their parts as well as G2. And for that reason, because of the bounce back, because I think the extra, extra motivation coming from G2, I'm going to give it to them this week. I think it could go either way. I'm, I'm, this is a marquee matchup. I can't wait to watch. Hopefully, you guys will watch it too. Um, but that's going to be crazy. Now, Team Envious, of course, uh, going versus Renegades. As you guys know, Team Envious, that's Mr. Hayes and Vocal Random Noob Squad. Uh, and you look at Renegades. These guys have come out of nowhere. Loki, Kliku, Stormtroopy, Ethereal, Bandy. These guys are nuts. Um, they have absolutely shocked the world. Vandy and Loki adding just this, a much, this much damage to really go ahead and, and surprise people in the week four finals of the PGS. You know, they came with such, I think, cl clinical nature to their play. A lot of people said, wow, these guys are no longer looking like noobs. They're looking like, <laughs> they're not looking like random noobs, so to speak. They're looking uh, really like veterans here who have put the work in, put the time in. I think the fact that these guys now know that they're getting paid uh, money to literally only do this has really helped to uh, stir up the drive, so to speak, for a lot of these teams and a lot of these players. I would be very surprised uh, if Renegades didn't continue their performance after the PGS last week. Uh, I'm going to give this one to Renegades uh, based on um, the rhythm that they're in. I think Vandy and Loki, guys to watch out for, uh, and, and Kliku, Ethereal, and Stormtrooper just performing super solidly. So we're going to give it uh, to them this time. And the last one, Splice versus G2 Esports. Again, you know, you have Splice and coming in. Um, I just clicked that for no reason. Uh, I am going to give this to G2. I think personally G2 are going to come out swinging this week. I do not think they're going to have a repeat of the last week's PGS. Um, I am. I will gladly be proved wrong if that's the case, but that is my opinion. These are my picks for the week, guys. Uh, thank you so much for tuning in. Fnatic in the game, one versus Navi. Mouse Sports and Ninja's Pajamas go to NIP. Not, Navi takes Virtus Pro. Fnatic over Mouse Sports. Splice over Envious. G2 over SK. Uh, Renegades over Envious. And Splice over G2. 
and splice over Ambius. The great part about this is each week we'll be following the storylines. I'll be talking about what I said last week, what happened, and what's going on for this week. And again, if you guys just want to copy my picks, maybe find yourself some extra VIP points because give or take, you know, I know a little bit more about this than most people considering this is literally my job. <laughs> uh, but I hope you guys enjoy this one. Share it to your friends. Let them know. Um, it's a good way to get some extra VIP points. You can buy some cool stuff like, um, I don't know, um, like this guy. Begun. Mm, it's just too good. It's just the battle has begun. Can you get any better than that? I don't think so, guys. I apologize for this being out. I know there's some some neat freaks saying, oh my God, his screen is messed up. <laughs> uh, but I hope to see you guys soon. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. That way, whenever I do these videos, you never miss them. YouTube does a really weird thing with their algorithm where uh, if you subscribe, they sometimes give you videos, they sometimes don't. The only way to make sure you get these every week is to hit the notification bell um, and make sure you can win some extra VIP points. Thanks, guys, for watching. That's my PPL predictions here. And as always, remember to never give up, never stop gaming, and I'll see you all next time.